4. Slicing Example 2. When printing complicated models, modifying only those settings recommended by the software is not enough to meet the printing needs. For example, using the recommended support parameter settings produces a dense support that is hard to remove. Sometimes the model may be accidentally broken by removing the supports. In this case, you need to modify the parameters of the printing settings to improve the print quality. The following will explain the slicing of the SpongeBob SquarePants partition model. Open the software. Set the machine model and material, then import the model. Control plus A to select all models. When you select more models, you can only move them by inputting coordinates or dragging the three axes. Move the model out of the way to make it easier for the following explanation. Modify the placement of the model can retain more details. Selecting the upper half of the model, you can see that the model is close to a rectangle by looking at it. When there is a lot of detail on the surface, if the model is placed horizontally, you can observe by slicing the preview that the top and bottom surfaces of the model may have a clear step lamination. Generally, tilt the model to retain more details and reduce the appearance of ladder patterns. Cut back to the prepare interface, select the model, click rotate to rotate the model to tilt. Reduce the horizontal surface as much as possible, generally tilt at an angle of 45 degrees. Different models are placed differently, so you can rotate it a few times to find a better angle. Click slice, preview. As you can see, although the ladder pattern on the model is not completely eliminated, but compared with the case of horizontal placement of the model, it is obviously reduced a lot, and more details are retained. For some plates or shields, if they are placed horizontally, there will be a very obvious step lamination, so tilting the model can effectively eliminate the step lamination. Note that if the bottom support is too little, you need to add support manually to prevent the model from falling down if it is too heavy. Select the arm model. By observing, the arm has a V-shape. For models like this, Placing the model vertically can retain more details. When rotating the model, you can't place it in a 7 shape, you need to place the sharp corners facing down or up. The preview comparison shows a more detailed surface on the arm. Select the glasses model. In order to preserve the surface detail, you need to place the mirror surface vertically and increase the touch surface with the printing platform as much as possible. Select the hand model. You can see that one hand has an open shape and the other has a half grip shape. Models like the palm of the hand usually require the fingers to be placed upwards. Try not to leave such a small part of the finger in the air. If the touch surface between the fingers and the support is too small, the model may not be able to adhere, resulting in printing failure. Select the lower half of the model, you can see that the model of the legs shows the structure of the Mitsubishi cone, the same as the placement of the upper half of the model. As far as possible, make the surface of the model not parallel to the printing platform. Select the foot model. By observation, the model of the foot has a flatter sole and the other sides are curved. In this kind of model with a flat surface, it is better to fit the flat surface to the printing platform. This way you can increase the touching area with the platform, stick more firmly, and save the material for printing support. As you can see from the slice preview, the bottom surface is not flat. 
You can see that the area of the first layer is very small, and there is no print support elsewhere. This may cause the model to fall off during the printing process due to low adhesion and large overhanging areas. If there is no requirement on the size and appearance of the model, you can move the model down to increase the area of the first layer. If there is a requirement for the size of the model, the model will be printed at an angle, so that it can add support to the sole and will not cause an empty print. The model does not have to be placed as described above. As you get more experience in printing, you will gradually develop your own placement method. Once the model is placed, you can start setting the model slicing parameters. Click Profile, Custom. The functions invoked have been explained in the software introduction, therefore, we will not repeat them here. It is recommended to set the layer height in the range of 0.1 to 0.2 mm. Ordinary models set 0.2 mm. Handbag type model set 0.1 or 0.12 mm. Here set to 0.12 mm. Shell, set by nozzle aperture. It is recommended to set the wall thickness and the top slash bottom layer thickness to the same. It is recommended to set 1.2 mm or more. Here set to 1.6 mm. Infill, set according to their own needs. Here the fill density is set to 20%. Filling pattern is set to cube. Material, when changing the material type, the printing temperature of the material will also change. The default temperature is the recommended temperature. Use the default parameters if you are not familiar with the material. Fine tune during the printing process to find the best temperature, no modification here. Speed is recommended to be set in the range of 30 to 60 mm per second, where the default parameters are used. Travel. Click on Pinion. Check Retraction Distance and Retraction Speed, use the default parameters. When printing the phenomenon of drawing, adjust these two parameters is one of the solutions. Appropriate increase the value for debugging, not too big or too small. It is recommended to increase 10% each time for debugging, while the z-axis left open. Cooling, generally do not need to adjust. Support, check the generate support, click pinion. Check to open support structure, support placement, support pattern, support wall line count, connect support lines, support density and support z-distance. Set support parameters. Support structure, normal. Support placement, everywhere. Support overhang angle, 60 degrees. Support pattern, zigzag. Support wall line count, 0. Support density, 10%. Support Z distance, 0.24, twice the height of the layer. Build plate adhesion, click pinion. Check the skirt line count and brim line count. Because the area of the first layer of some models is too small, choose brim for the print platform attachment type. Change the brim line count to 10. Click slice. Preview to see the slicing situation. Check whether the model overlaps, whether the placement is reasonable and the support is added. If the support is not in place, you can use custom support to add it. After making sure the slice is OK, click Save to File. Name the slice file, using letters and numbers, no more than 10 digits. Make the slice file AG, code format file. Finally, copy the slice file into the memory card, 